What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, man, the wrestling world, the wrestling news, especially in WWE right now, has gone crazy. We just talked about uh, Monday Night Raw moving exclusively to uh, streaming on uh, on the Netflix platform. And now we got to talk about The Rock and what just happened here. The Rock appointed to UFC WWE's TKO Group Board of Directors. This is truly insane. The Rock is going. Oh um, my bad! I gotta pull up the article. You guys can't even see what I'm I'm talking about. It's on uh, uh ESPN right now. The Rock um is going to need some new uh custom business suits for his well muscled six foot five frame. Okay, all right. No, the glazing is already at maximum right now. Dwayne Johnson, the actor, former WWE star, and most followed American man on social media platforms in the world, was appointed Tuesday to the board of directors of TKO Group, publicly traded company consisting of UFC and WWE. Johnson is one of the most well-known wrestlers ever to come out of WWE, winning the promotions championship eight times. In addition to his appointment, Johnson, who's 51 years old, has been granted full ownership of the Rock trademark, which is a very big deal for him. That is awesome, which had been owned by WWE, and Johnson has signed a new service and merchandising agreement with WWE that provides uh, for his promotional license, licensing and other services per a release. Being on the TKO board of directors and taking full ownership of my name, The Rock, is not only unprecedented, but incredibly inspiring. My crazy life is coming full circle. Johnson said in a statement, at my core, I am a builder who builds for the services and serves the people and TKO CEO um, Ari Emanuel in building something truly game changing. I'm very motivated to help continue uh, to globally, globally expand our TKO WWE and UFC businesses as the worldwide leaders in sports and entertainment while proudly representing so many phenomenal athletes and performers who show up every day putting in hard work with their own two hands to make their dreams come true and deliver uh, for our audiences. I've been there. I'm still there. And this is for them. Early this morning, uh, early this month, Johnson teased a potential match with his own, uh, with his cousin for the WWE Universal Championship, Roman Reigns, in an appearance on WWE Raw. The match could happen at WrestleMania 40 in April. If it comes in uh, to fruition, it would be Johnson's first proper wrestling match since 2013. Since his time in, w, uh, in WWE, he's been busy. Whether it's be uh, with his TV and film studio, Seven Buck, uh, Bucks Production, or Terramana Tequila, or Zoa Energy, or Project Rock, the Under Armour apparel line that uh, has a deal with the UFC for fighters, Fight Week foot, uh, footwear. Johnson is also a partner uh, in the recently merged United Football League. Despite all his ventures, Johnson has stayed connected to TKO's properties. He will start as a MMA legend and a UFC veteran, Mark Kerr, in an upcoming movie, um, and he is uh, and he is a vocal fan of the UFC. Johnson is a longtime friend of WWE President Nick Khan, and um, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna do that. Nick's sister, <laughs> Nick Khan's sister. I'm not. I'm not gonna butcher that, y'all. Um, was the creator and executive producer of Johnson's show, The Young Rock. Very few people on the planet understand the convergence of sports, entertainment, media, and business like The Rock. TKL Executive Chairman Vince McMahon said in a statement, we are proud to have him join the TKL board to help our company to new heights. The Rock uh, name comes from Johnson's original name in WWE Rocky Maivia, which was a tribute to his family. Johnson is a third generation professional wrestler. His grandfather was High Chief uh, Peter Maivia, and his father was Rocky Johnson, who uh, was the first black champion in WWE history, winning the tag titles with Tony Atlas. Both are in the WWE Hall of Fame. My grandfather, High Chief 
Peter Maivia and my dad, Rocky Soulman Johnson, would have never thought this day would come. Johnson said in a statement, which is why I am very humbled to have a seat at the table that has decades of history and family legacy for me. A table that my family helped build, helped to build. The TKA Group's board will expand to 13 people with the appointment of Johnson and Brad uh, Keywell, the CEO of Artificial Intelligent Company Uptake Technologies. Man. Well, it's official. Yeah, he, yeah. Cody's story's done. It's over. I just seen a clip. Somebody has sent it to me. I don't know if it was today. Actually, um, I'm actually going to Twitter. I'm going to do this right now live for you guys because I want y'all to see this. All right, y'all. So I was able to find the tweet. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I know one of you guys had tagged me on Twitter, but I actually was able to find the tweet of The Rock on first take, you know, him talking about him being on a board of, rec a board of directors of TKO or whatnot. But... I we had I had to show y'all this clip of what he actually said on the show with some of what he said and uh yeah it's one of those things where this all but confirms I I I think to, uh um Cody's story is essentially it's 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 over hold on y'all 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 just just watch this hold on let me full screen this for y'all man just listen to what he has to say and I mean I like to build. And this is something like this, what this is. If myself and Roman Reigns were to main event WrestleMania, and I mean this very respectfully of all the WrestleManias prior because I grew up in this business and I love it, we could possibly put on with us as a main event and this incredible group of men and women who are these incredible performers, we could possibly put on the greatest and the biggest WrestleMania of all time. So you're saying wow. there's a chance. There's so a there's chance, a chance, Molly. <laughs> there's a chance. I'm saying there's more than a chance. You know, because, look, <laughs> I, I, okay. I, I, I love this business. I yeah. love pro wrestling. I love WWE. But I, I also, I have this deep passion to grow it and to build it. And well, yeah, that, you heard it. You heard it from The Rock himself. Him being on the board of directors. Now, here's the thing. That may not happen this year. And I know he has teased it. He's he's alluded to it, but I don't know, bro. I don't know. You, uh, I honestly, I just don't see Cody finishing his story this year. I just don't. Unless they pull an audible and have them do it next year after he drops the title this year, cool. But I think I think Cody's story is done, bro. I I I would be. I'm actually. I would be surprised if he actually main events WrestleMania this year with the, uh, with Roman. If Cody is actually in the main event with Roman again, I would be completely surprised. But with The Rock being one of the shareholders now, with him being on the like you know being on the board of not shareholders, I'm sure he probably does have some share uh, in WWE and the TKO merger. But with him being on the board of directors now, with him. Now having full control and and licensing of his name, he owns his name now. The Rock, well, you know, you know what WWE gave him, he owns that now. Yeah, bro. I think Cody's story is done. It's over. If it don't, I would be surprised if it happens this year. But I I do think it's over. It, the Rock, he has put himself above. Like if you when we was talking about the article and he's talking about he's sitting at a table like that, he is essentially, if you want to be technically honest, he is truly proven now that he is at the head of the table. He's sitting at the <laughs> at, at the top with the board of directors. He's truly, he is truly at the head of the table now. And they can spin this into a story. He is the table. He's at the head of the table. He he's jumped over Roman in this sense. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about The Rock joining, uh, you know, partnering and joining um, um, TKO. 
um, the TKO WWE merger and and being able to own his own name now and and what does that mean for WWE as a whole with him being on the board of directors? What let me know how y'all feel about The Rock now being in that position in his life, man. Is it, do y'all think it's going to be a good thing? Y'all think it's going to be a bad thing? And also, how do y'all feel about Cody's chances of finishing this story now that The Rock is at this such elevated place in WWE now? But I appreciate all love and support. Guys, shout on channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on Speedy YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.